All right. Let's see. Oh, don't fall. That's a lot of money right there. Boom. Okay. Uh. Oh, wow, you did move. Okay. Scary. Uh. Oh, you're moving. Oh, Jesus Christ. How's it going? My name is Clayton Tom. I currently live in a 1999 Chevy Astro van. I did it four months last year, and I'm doing it now. And the reason is I work at a ski resort in Mammoth Lakes, California. Um, I decided to do it just because I was doing school and I was really unhappy and I found myself unhappy and and having like a, a low passion for life and just what I was doing in general so I decided to just you know change course and, and just do what I wanted do what I thought would be fun and exciting because you only have one life you know and um I don't know what it is I don't know where we go after we die but I know we have one life, and so I might as well live it the way I want to, the way I truly want to. And so I'm not making much money in my life, but I am definitely traveling and experiencing what I want. And I do a lot of photography and videography, as a, is what this is, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I decided I might make a few vlogs, video logs, just to... Maybe capture something for myself, my family, or just, I don't know, create something. But I definitely live a unique lifestyle. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it might be kind of cool to share. So today I'm making lunch. It's really simple. It's just like a steak. And uh, I don't cook too much in the van, but I'm trying to start. I've only cooked a couple times now. Uh, I cooked... I cooked steak, eggs, and squash, and I cooked bacon, eggs, and squash, because it was, like, the day after. Oh, and I guess, like, last year I ate a lot of Carl's Jr., like, every day, every night. So that's why I'm trying to cook more for myself, be more healthy. Yeah. And today I'm just cooking steak, just to get some protein. I don't know, nothing special. Let's see, let's get that started. If I can find that. Dang lighter. Yeah, so I mean as camper vans go, it's pretty small. Um, it's cold. So yeah, I, it's cold. It's often below freezing every single night. I've seen lows of like zero degrees, one degree, but that's good because I have a zero degree seating bag and a like a Coleman zero degree seating bag and a down comforter. And yeah small I have a bed I made this table I made this all myself so you, I don't know if you can see the lights not too good uh, this summer I put in wood paneling on the roof some lights um, carpet walls some pictures and a table and I kind of redid the bed so now that it, it opens I don't know if you can even see that it opens from the from the bottom that like the where the under the mattress so that I can reach things underneath um, last year I lived a pretty simple life in terms of furnishing. All I had was uh, um, all I had was uh, metal. It was like, yeah. I basically what happened is I decided I got the job uh, up here and I bought a van and I had about a week to renovate it. So I basically just tore out all the seats, all the carpet on the walls. Uh, on the ground and it was just bare metal everywhere I had a I have a vinyl floor with plywood and then vinyl on top and then I had a bed and so it was pretty it was pretty cold pretty standard but now I got uh, a little bit of a better situation so maybe I could show you around so right now just looking oh you can't even see that there we go so just a little bit of steak today that's my um What's it called? Picture wall, ASAP Rocky, so like Kravitz, just like, and just pictures that inspire me. Beautiful people, beautiful things, beautiful personalities. This table I made, it's kind of just hung up with some door hinges. 
and this chain. I got these walls, the ceiling panels. Nice aesthetic. I really love it. This uh, carpet wall. Keeps it nice and warm. Actually, putting in insulation. And here you can see the vinyl floor. That's the tripod I have you on. I have a Mr. Okay, I have a Mr. Heater Buddy for a little bit of extra heat, you know, when it's super cold or I'm getting up in the morning. And that's what this is. I don't keep it on too long because, uh, well, it's propane powered and I've heard of people dying, you know, just CO2 poisoning or whatever. I don't know too much about it. It does shut off by itself, I think, when the oxygen runs low. But, yeah, so, let me flip that piece of meat right there. How bright is this? I can't tell. Let's see. All right. that's bright enough but yeah I mean oh god that's loud yeah I just figured might as well record it for myself or whatever yeah you, as you can see I don't have a very high ceiling so it's kind of uncomfortable um but yeah I guess just a short intro to me and who I am I'm from the Bay Area grew up in Redwood City San Mateo all my life but yeah that's what I'm doing probably not a very great video but I figured I always thinking oh I need to put the perfect video up so I figured I might as well just put something up yeah the consistency it's getting smoky in this van because I'm cooking um but yeah I don't know maybe I'll, I'll probably make some more videos it's not too hard but yeah today's just making making some steak on a nice little propane stove uh, nothing special, but, I don't know, life's good. Oh yeah, I'm a skier, I love skiing, and that's why I moved up here. Yeah, mostly park, so like rails and jumps, that's what I do. You can check out my Instagram at, uh, clay to live A lot of people think it's clay to all of it, it's not. But yeah, C-L-A-Y-T-O-L-I-V-E, and you can follow the story there more, because I probably post there a lot more. God, the ceiling's awkward. But yeah, um, yeah, enjoy, to memories. There we go. By the way, steak turned out pretty good. Mm. Muy perfecto.